Hey everybody, it's Tracy. Welcome back. So today I have for you an empties basket. It's small, so this should be quick because I did also do the K's warm review this week. So a lot of my melting was also that. Um, that video is already up, so go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm going to get started with the non-wax items first. So let's grab those. First of all, I finished an all-purpose cleaner concentrate in lemon verbena. This is awesome. I love this smell, guys. Oh, it is so, so good. And when you're cleaning, it just, it smells great. Let's move that over there. The next thing I finished was a dish soap in Squeeze the Day, which is probably my favorite citrus scent for cleaning when it comes to Scentsy. It is so, so fresh and clean. It's so good. I want to make sure you can see the warmer. I love my warmer over there. It's so cute. Okay. All right. And then the last thing is I finished a sea salt and avocado hand cream. You guys, this is so good. If you've never tried their hand cream, it's really, really nice. Little goes a very long way and it lasts through several hand washings. I typically only have to apply it two, maybe a third time during the day. And I typically am either, you know, cleaning, washing my hands, doing whatever. So, um, a lot of times my hands will get super dry. That keeps them from getting dry. It's really great. All right, let's see what else we have here. Not a lot. Okay, continuing with Scentsy. I have, I finished a Crimson Berry Christmas. This is such a really great holiday scent. It's bright berry um, with some kind of like a cinnamon background to it. Really nice, I love it. Um, and you can see, all gone. And then the other one I finished was Magnolia Linen. This is a really strong thrower. This was actually borderline headache inducing for me at the end. When I first got it, it was not that way, um, but it's been sitting, let's see. I got this in January. So it's been sitting for five or six months in the house and um, it actually was a little headache inducing for me toward the end. Um, so I just made sure I changed it out a little bit sooner and that seemed to work uh, for me to finish it out. The last three I finished out were um, Coast of Sicily from Destination Wax. That's lavender and violets mingle with the, wait, hold on, with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast. I forgot my reading glasses again in case you didn't get that. <laughs> this is a really great scent, guys. I was using this in my bathrooms and powder room. Really, really great scent. Very fresh and clean. And black raspberry vanilla, which is pretty self-explanatory. Black raspberries, creamy sweet vanilla, sandalwood. This is really nice. I used this up in our bedroom upstairs, and we really enjoyed that. The last one I have is Destination Wax Orange. This was really good. Um, I mean, it smells like fresh orange. After a couple hours, it does take on more of an artificial type um, scent. Uh, so this one I didn't let go for very, very long, um, but I still did enjoy it while it was melting. Last one I have here is Watermelon Coast from Sassy Girl. This was really nice. This, I believe, if I remember correctly, is fresh watermelon, um, pineapple, and salty sea air. This is really, really nice, guys. Honestly, on cold, I get a combination of like a fresh watermelon and a candied watermelon. When it's melting, the pineapple does kick in a little bit more, and so does the salty sea air. You get a, a hint of those on cold, but when it's on warm, you really get it. It's really nice, and this was one my husband commented on. He really enjoyed as well. So that's my empties. That's literally, that's it. So like I said, if you're interested, the K's warming review uh, was put up earlier in the week. That was everything else that I had melted. Um, I'm probably going to be picking a new basket beginning of this week, so I'll get that video coming up for you pretty soon. Um, let's see what else. Oh, last thing. If you're getting involved in the round robin, I have five people that are already involved. So there's a total of six of us. You still have time to, you know, get a hold of me and find out if you want to do that. Um, there are two videos up already. They are on my channel. So go ahead and give those a watch. They're really quick, maybe five minutes a piece. Um, but if you're interested, you know, I would love to have more people. This coming week, probably between Wednesday and Friday, I will be doing what I'm calling a last call video because I'm pretty much sure that the final day um, to get involved in this because I want to be able to start getting stuff sent out. I think the last day we're going to go is either July 10th or maybe July 15th. So, but keep in mind, I mean, you still have plenty of time right now. If you're interested, watch those two videos. Um, 
but once we start getting close to July 10th, I want to be able to get it packed up and start getting it on its way. So again, I will put all final details in a video coming up at the end of next week. Um, in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Um, it was kind of rainy here today, but we needed it, so I'm certainly not complaining. And I think that's it. I think we're all good. I'll get some other videos out this coming week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.